Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a brilliant attacking game played by legendary Indian chess grandmaster Vishwanathan Anand. Anand is on the black side and his opponent is Russian chess grandmaster Sergei Karyakin, though I have to tell you that at the time of this game in 2006, Sergei Karyakin was playing under the flag of Ukraine. As I've already mentioned, this game was played in 2006 in Vekanze. But before starting our game, if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing in order not to miss my future uploads. And now let's get started with this fascinating game and see what happened on the board. Karyakin opened up with e4 and Anand responded with Sicilian defense c5, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3 and a6. Anand is choosing the knight or variation against which Karyakin goes for English attack, bishop e3. This is a move which was popularized by American chess grandmaster Robert Byrne in 1970. 70s. Anand responded with e5, knight b3, bishop e6, f3, bishop e7, queen d2, black castles king side and white castles queen side. And I have to tell you that typical opposite side castlings are usually leading to very sharp battles. Knight d7 by Anand and there it goes g4. The ideas of both players are simple. All they need is to launch a pawn storm. But let's see who will be faster towards g4. Anand responded with b5, g5 and instead of moving away his knight, for example on h5 squared, and this is a move which Bobby Fischer played against Robert Byrne in 1971. Fischer managed to win that game, later he went for f5 breakthrough. But in this game, instead of touching the knight, Anand counterattacked white knight. b4 is on the board, knight e2, knight e8, f4 and a5. f5 and this time we have another counterattacking move, a4. Here Karyakin made a strong move and played knight b d4, but let's take a look at f takes e6, then in this case black can capture b3 and actually in this line black is facing no problems. If e takes d7 and this is a terrible move, after b takes a2 black is winning and if a move like c takes b3 then f takes e6 is coming and then rook takes a2, the players have equal chances and I have to repeat again that Black is managing to equalize the game without any efforts. Let's go back, but in our game after a4 we have knight bd4. As I've already mentioned, this is the strongest move and this is a move which can really create problems for black. But Anand knew this lines pretty well and he went on making accurate moves. It takes d4 is on the board, knight takes d4. And this time we have b3. Finally, one of black pawns reached the third rank and the game is starting to become very tense. King b1, the idea is that knight b takes a2 check, then king a1, white king will hide behind this a pawn using it as a shield. That's why after king b1 are not captured on c2, knight takes c2 and instead of capturing on a2 with a check, Anand placed his bishop on b3, yes, this is a move which allows Black to recapture on b3 with the a pawn, after which the a pawn is becoming a very important factor in this attack. Knight a3 by Karyakin, a move which is blocking the a file and now all Black needs is to start putting pressure on this a3 square. Knight five, we have a perfect outpost for Black Knight and meanwhile Karyakin proceeds with his attack. h4, rook a5, with this move Anand is freeing the a8 square for the queen and Queen c3, which at the time of this game was novelty. Before this, queen e2 and queen b4 had been seen, but in our game we have queen c3 and queen a8 is on the board. Bishop g2 by Karyakin and as we have reached the critical position, please pause the video and try to find Anand's next moves. Ready? Now look, right now Black needs more pieces to switch into the attack and this knight on e8 is actually hindering the activation of this rook. That's why in order to activate this rook, Anand went for a peace sacrifice. 
By the way, I have to tell you that Anand's following move is even too hard to find for Stockfish. Here on your screen you can see the analysis by Stockfish 10 and Stockfish is suggesting moves like Knight G4, okay, it changed to Knight F6 or Rook A6, but all these give black nothing. In my case the KNS speed is low, but the interesting thing is that when testing Stockfish on a faster servers, in this case I tested Stockfish on Chessify's powerful cloud servers, where the speed is very high, but even in that case I saw no positive result. The winning move in this position is Knight C7, an absolutely staggering move, and after which Stockfish evaluates the position as winning for white, but now you will see that very quickly the engine will change its evaluation. Right now there are several threats like Knight b5 or at some point rook takes a3 is playable, for example if bishop b6 then rook takes a3 is coming and then knight b5, black is winning, if king b2 then rook b8 with the threat of rook takes b6. That's why after knight c7 the best move is queen takes c7, still Stockfish is evaluating the position as completely winning for white and only now we have an evaluation change. In here we have queen takes c7 and finally yes only now Stockfish can see that it's black is winning. Rook c8, rook c8 is on the board, Anand is sacrificing the second piece. Now I will remove the Stockfish analysis already, it's clear that finally the engine can see the winning line. Already at this point yes, black is winning, black's attack is decisive. Let's go on with our game, here we have queen takes e7, by the way if we move like queen b6 then knight c4 is coming, again a very unpleasant position for white. That's why after, let's go back, that's why after rook c8 we have queen takes e7 and knight c4 Anand is emphasizing the vulnerability of this knight on a3. Here card I can play g6, understanding that by defending he can't reach anything decided to proceed with the counter attack. H takes g6 by Anand, F takes g6 and knight takes a3 check, but I have to tell you that rook takes a3 is also strong, but not as strong as knight takes a3 check. B takes a3, rook takes a3, g takes f7 check, well if I move like queen takes f7 check, then simply king h8, black king is in safety, and if bishop d4 with a direct mating threat, then rook a1 check is coming, followed by queen a2 checkmate. In our game after rook takes a3, we have g takes f7 check, and king h7. Here Karyakin went for an under promotion and promoted his pawn to a knight, which allows him to announce a check and prolong his resistance, but all these are desperate attempts, white's position is totally lost. Here Karyakin also offered his queen, but Anand proceeded with his mating attack. Rook a1 check is on the board, he's not even paying attention to the queen hanging on f8. King c3, well if I move like king takes b3, then queen a4 check is coming, and then white king is getting checkmated. In our game we have king c3 and queen a5 check. This is a devastating king hunt and white king has no safe square. Look at this white king in the center of the board guys. Rook a4 check, king c3 and finally after queen c4 check we have a resignation. If king d2 then rook a2 check is coming and then queen e2 checkmate. What a brilliant attack by Vishwanathan Anand. In the end, as usual, let's solve a chess puzzle. Please take a look at this position and try to find that winning move for black. By the way, I have to tell you that this is a position which is also taken from Anand's game. I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this brilliant game, share it with your friends. Let them know about this beauty as well. For more games consider to check out the suggestions. I will see you in my next video. Take care.